once again in this sweet world. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, this is a normal thing that's happening. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, trying to close a tab on Chrome has made my computer be like, hey, stop doing things. Don't be doing anything. Hold on one second. Okay. Now I'm ready. Let's continue with this sweet, delicious game. Mm -hmm. It's not seven. That's a filthy lie. You know what? Let's make it. Let's make it daytime for once. Sometimes it can be daytime. Okay. Let's say it's three. Ah, this is where we were. Hello, lady. I have to watch out for blemishes caused by the sun. Yes, I know. I know. Oh, no. A tentacle? Well, tentacle, you foolish man. Now it's time to die. You tried, Tentacool. You tried. <laughs> Let's see what this guy's doing. Hello, I'm bored by fishing. Let's battle. Okay. Ready to fight another fisherman. Because I hate fishing. I'm against fishing. That's what this game's really all about. Let Bigly swim you there, she will then get ripped biceps and the other muscles. Good advice, thank you. <laughs> ha! The tentacle can't harm me. I'm simply too huge. Oh, hell yeah, Bigly Puff. Level 46, that's actually the level at which you finally are happy. Utter failure. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I'll just go back to fishing. Oh, he's actually fine. He's fine. Just gets smashed to pieces and then he's like, it's, it's fine. I'll just go back to fishing. My one, my real passion, you know? <sighs> Anyhow, I have a nice glass of wine on this glorious evening as we serve around and uh, that's gonna help me in my quest. I'm so, I'm so glad Luigi is still he here. Me too. I can never abandon Luigi. Sweet Luigi. Um, also you may notice I have a, a new evil money goal. <laughs> Cause you know, evil, evil is expensive, you know? Anyway, land ho, gotta keep going. Hey, you're almost there, come on. This guy just drowns like inches from Cinnabar. I actually thought of the perfect Halloween costume, but it was too late to get it. So I'm gonna just do something with it in November. <laughs> and be like, listen, I can dress up anytime I want. So forget it, and then maybe I'll just use that same costume every Halloween for the rest of my life. That's my plan. I'm thinking I might do that. Because, you know, I always think, I always think that Halloween costumes are like kind of... What am I doing? I'm trying to use an electric move because I'm not paying attention. Because I'm a fool. Um, I always think, like, Halloween costumes are great and really fun. And it's fun to make them. I made, like, a cardboard Big Ben once that was really fun. 
and stupid, but then like I really couldn't keep her anywhere because it was quite large. So I was like, well, I have to just get rid of this after I use it, you know. And I always think like, I hate that. I hate the element of like, you use something once, and then and then it's done, or like, you know, that something can't be more versatile. So Halloween costumes concern me in that way. Also, just the fact that you're like, you're paying money. If you're paying money for something you're only gonna wear once, it's kind of sad. So. Maybe my solution will be to wear one Halloween costume, and it's the same one every year till I die. I'm thinking that's pretty reasonable, and maybe it could be like a fun tradition, you know? I feel like that could be a fun thing. Just my, just my smart, huge brain talking here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, it's a secret what it is, so... Feel free to imagine. <laughs> Just whatever you first think of, that's it. That's gonna be what it is. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying the hypnotic dance of Luigi, because I certainly am. Every day of my life, I think about him. I think fondly of his dance. Gotta pick a good costume though, one that will never be dated, like Joker. Exactly. Smart, smart words there. I did, uh, I once shaved my head for a Halloween costume and it was a Batman related one. Uh, it was the Riddler. Because I wanted to do like a orange hair dye thing with like, I don't know, I shaved my head and there was like a little tuft of it in front and I dyed it orange so I kind of looked like very weird Tintin. But I never dressed as Joker, aside from in my Joker Slaps video. But that wasn't really exactly an attempt to dress as the Joker. Just did the face. <clears throat> this arrogant guy was at Cinnabar's Volcano. Oh, that's me. I'm the arrogant guy. Ah, oh, tentacle. You sweet thing. You sweet innocent fool. Goodbye. <laughs> there, there, tentacle goes back into the sea. <sighs> oh man, come on! I was just about to step onto the onto the sweet dry land of my dreams, and another tentacle comes at me. This kind of behaviour. It's unacceptable. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna be Ned Flanders for Halloween, that sounds amazing. There's a notice here. Cinnabar Jim has relocated to Seafoam Island. Blaine. God damn it. I have to surf to another location? This is nonsense. It's been a year since the volcano erupted. Hey Aiden. How you doing? Do 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 do. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Cinnabar Jim's Blaine apparently lives alone in the Seafoam Islands cave. Okay, now that's me. <laughs> Cinnabar Island, the fiery town of burning desire. It's just a big rock now. Who are you? Well, it's plain to see that you're a trainer. 
My name is Blue. I was once the champion, although it was for only a short time. That meddling red did me in. Anyway, what do you want? You want to challenge me or something? I hate to say it, but I'm not in the mood for a battle now. He's the worst gym leader in the world. Take a good look around you. A volcano erupts and just like that, a whole town disappears. We can go on winning and losing in Pokemon, but if nature so much as twitches, we can lose in a second. Damn, this is sad. That's the way it is. But anyway, I'm still a trainer. If I see a strong opponent, it makes me want to battle. If you want to battle me, come to the Viridian Gym. I'll take you on then. How? That was a crazy move. Yeah, Red did this. Red made this volcano happen. <laughs> okay. Let's move on from this sad world. Did, uh, did Mewtwo make that volcano happen? Was it Mewtwo? I think it was Mewtwo, guys. I don't know. These tentacles need to leave me alone. Get, get out of here. I'm just trying to surf in the sea. Leave me alone. I didn't want this for myself or for you. Oh my goodness. I guess it's impossible to swim all the way to Johto. Uh... Not... No. It's... I mean... It's fine, actually. You can. Just not from here. Hey, right, thanks BBQ Jackfruit Saint. See you later. We will be swimming and getting buff. Don't you worry. Puff, getting so strong every single day. <laughs> the guy just screams when he loses, which is understandable. Besides the sea, I can also swim in ponds and rivers. Okay, why would I? Why would I? I would have thought the sea would be like the last one on that ranking. So, sh yeah, that seems. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Sure. What does this sign say? Cinnabar Gym Leader Blaine. Okay. Wow, what beautiful. He just went to a cave and now he lives there. Um, let's get soup involved. Soup's ready to destroy- Wow! <laughs> My gym and Cinnabar burned down. My fire-breathing Pokemon and I are harmless because of the volcano. Wow! But I'm back in business as a gym leader here in this cave. If you can beat me, I'll give you a badge. Ha! You better have Burn Heal. Uh, I don't have Burn Heal, so... Thanks for the tip, though. Oh, look at him. Look at his powerful... Ugh, his whole thing. Look at that. Just... Ooh. Lane style icon. Okay, we are ready to destroy. Fire Pokemon, huh? Mm hmm. Whoa, a magma. Whoa. Ah, oh, this is too easy. This isn't Harry. Wrong. This is Harry. I'm Harry. 
Don't question me. <laughs> I'm Harry, but like way bigger than before. Bomber guy too, don't you understand? I'm simply H Bomber guy, but huge. Thanks for following. Love to get followed. And it makes me even bigger. Every time someone follows me, I gain huge muscle mass. <laughs> um and I grow like an extra facial hair. It's it's great. <laughs> That was like the easiest gym battle in the whole game. Because <laughs> I have like 500 water Pokemon. I did lose this time, but I'm going to win the next time. When I rebuild my Cinnabar gym, we'll have to have a rematch. Okay. Sure. Yo! Huh? It's over already? Sorry, dude. Cinnabar gym was gone, so I didn't know where to find you. <laughs> <laughs> what, does this guy like follow me around personally? Like, what? what's going on with this gym man? But hey, you're plenty strong, even without my advice. I knew you'd win. Okay, thanks. Okay, well. Now it's time to, um, wait, did I see that girl before? I don't think I did. I guess I'll battle her. Hello. What an impressive collection of gym badges. We should battle. That's what I say when I meet anybody. It's a pretty good uh, leader. Two Pokemon. What are they gonna be? Oh, a Starmie, the ancient creature from hell. <laughs> What's up, Miss Bomber guy? Well, um, I'm just having fun, you know? Just having a good time, just living life, just uh, living, laughing, laughing, that kind of thing. You know. <laughs> Alright, it's time to slash. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love my powerful crocodile. Please elaborate. Well,. What is laughing? <laughs> uh, it's when you, you see something really funny, like maybe you see, um, maybe you see like a scene from the Joker that's really good and it's funny and, and you, you make this sound with your, um, like with your voice and you go ha 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 ha. That's what laughing is. It's when you, you do it when something's funny. Good luck, McCrib. I, I think you can do it. Ooh, that's, that sounded pretty, yeah. That seemed like you got it. Surf is no longer the only HM movie you use in water. What the hell? What? Oh my goodness, what is that? What is this beautiful creature? Oh my god. You really get in the hang of it, McCrib. Pretty incredible progress for a first timer. Ah, oh. one more tentacle down. I won't be stopped by these pesky tentacles. Can you also go ah 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 ah? What like like um the count? from Sesame Street. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> I feel so much lighter in water. There's a song that re always reminds me of that. Um, What is it? It's by Emma Blackery. But I forget the name of it. And she's doing a thing like that in the chorus, I think. And it sounds a lot like The Count. And I enjoy that. <laughs> That's all. Mm 
Mm, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. <sighs> so many swimmers. And you, like, if they just had, um... If they just all had, like, a bunch of Pokemon that could destroy electric and grass types, then they'd be pretty solid in there. Or if they just had, like, their own electric types and, uh, swam around destroying everybody in the ocean. They should consolidate all the swimmers into one big swimmer. Now you're talking. Now you're thinking big. Ooh, she's got a Lapras. What a beautiful dinosaur. I was, I watched, I ended up watching one of those Watch Mojo videos the other day and it was a run, a run through of like the top 10 um, child voice acting performances and they just started talking about the land before time and I, I, I got emotional immediately. <laughs> It was like, oh no, I can't cry to a Watch Mojo video. That's really gonna end me. Um, but thinking about the land before time, immediately it's like, because they were talking about Littlefoot and the kid who played him, his performance. And I was like, oh no, don't remind me of the land before time. I'll die. <laughs> uh, such a great, oh, it's so great. But it, I will cry. It's a threat. <laughs> well, I'll do it. How is the bomber guy life? Well, you know. Um, I haven't set off any bombs lately, so it's pretty uninteresting. But hey. Do, 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 do. <laughs> well, TH bomb one will never sense. <laughs> I think he's busy noticing, like, Tetris. Maybe drowning in Tetris. Mm-hmm, we did it. Oh no. Oh no. Swimming exercises your full body. It's really good for you. Okay. Didn't ask. Oh, so many battles with so many tentacles. And I'm gonna complain every single time. Hello! <laughs> Hello, Ashley Luna. <laughs> when you, will you when will you compete for the title of H Bomber Guy One with the Tetris Jewel? Oh soon, I'm sure. Oh, who are these people? Just a little farther to Fuchsia. Oh yeah, I totally forgot you can serve down from Fuchsia. I completely forgot that was even a thing. Tetris versus big Pokemon. Let's go. <laughs> Do you know, does anyone know anyone called Tucker in real life? I feel like it sounds like a name that an Australian surfer dude would have. Tucker. <laughs> Which I get, I mean, makes sense for a swimmer then, in that case. <laughs> there he is, he has a big cloister. Pretty impressive. I was gonna say it sounds like the name of a Ford pickup truck. <laughs> Don't harm me. I am but a simple crocodile trying to make my way in the world. Yeah. I'm drowning. Oh no. Oh, goodbye. 
I asked my girlfriend to swim to Fuchsia. Yeah. I'm disgusted by wimpy people. <laughs> loves eugenics <coughs> she's ready for eugenics oh my god okay let's kill her pokemon and her i did screenshot it so don't worry about that uh. oh no soup be careful oh my god Okay. Oh, Dawn, you sweet fool. Ah, oh, good, we have the same thumbnail making instinct. Mm hmm. I could beat you at swimming. Oh, okay. It's a quick swim between Fuchsia and Sea Farm Islands. Sheesh, some big man my boyfriend is. What a wimp. <laughs> Jeez. Swimming and lousy at it. I'm just splashing around in these shallow waters. Good for you. <laughs> oh, Jerome. <sighs> oh, God, I forgot about being low health. All right. Let's get the sheep out. Let's get the sheep out here. Yeah. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh, Cedra thinks it can beat me. Mm -mm. No, sir. Oh, it's you, Scarce and Celery? You're splashing around in these shallow waters? Good for you. <laughs> oh man, three whole Pokemon. Jerome's really pushing the boat out here. He's really going for it. The seawater looks like how my leg feels when I've been sat down too long. Last wine I poured myself is pretty huge, actually. It was um, it was like the end of the bottle, so I felt like, well, I might as well finish this thing. And it's like a little bit bigger than I would usually pour a glass. What an interesting nugget of info that I just gave you. Mmm, fascinating. <laughs> more Pokemon to go into the meat grinder that is Big Sheep. <laughs> you can't stop Big Sheep. If you try, it's a mistake, really. It's a huge mistake. <sighs> hey, Yan, how's it going? We're out here in the sea, destroying swimmers' lives. And uh, none of these people are ever going to go to the Olympics now. God bless your own. I thought I could win. Well, <laughs> you thought wrong. Uh -huh. I might be bad at swimming, but I love the sea. That's cute. God bless. I see you're killing fish as usual. Well, jellyfish mostly, but yeah. I am. Um... Let's move on. So, we're back at Fuchsia. Nice. <laughs> Let's talk to these guys. Hello. The road work has finally finished. Now I can go fishing again. 
I'm all sweaty. Time for a swim. <laughs> okay. Let's move on. No, Cinnabar's citizens were injured by the eruption. That's great. Oh, that is good. It's, it destroyed a whole city and yet no one was injured. So I have to say props really to the emergency services encounter. <laughs> they must be great. Um, what am I doing? Okay, it's not useful to me. <laughs> I'm all sweaty, time for a swim should be how you end the stream. <laughs> yeah. Do, 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 do. Let's cut this tree. Hello. The safari zone is closed. It's sad considering its future's main attraction. Hmm. No lettering. Please take your waste with you. <laughs> oh, love to cut some trees. Am I right? Am I right, ladies? Hello, sir. Koga's daughter succeeded him as the gym leader after he joined the Elite Four. Yes, I know that. The warden is traveling abroad. Therefore, the safari zone is quite could come back. What the hell? Don't you have any other like staff? <laughs> take you please take your waste with you. It's not a nice way of calling my Pokemon. <laughs> oh hey, Barry. Give me Barry now. Please give Barry to me. Give me Barry now. I love to get a berry in my life. That's my song about berries. I hope you liked it. I was hoping to buy some Safari Zone souvenirs, but it's closed. Wow. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Um, I don't know really why I went into there. I don't want to buy anything ever again, so it's fine. Hello. The Safari Zone Warden's granddaughter lives in town. Okay. Well, it's time to move on with our lives. Let's go, um battle blue i guess let's go do that do 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 ba, do all right how to heal just for soup i got a heal okay we're all healed up it's time to um, get our last gym battle going. It's pretty exciting. Do, 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 do. Let's move Atrocity to the front. Why not? Da 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 da. Mm -hmm. Hello, sir. Are you going to battle the leader? Good luck to you. You'll need it. Okay. I'll be fine. Is it just him? It's just him alone in his Lego house? I wasn't in the mood at Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. You're telling me you conquered all the gyms in Johto? Heh, Johto's gyms must be pretty pathetic then. Hey, don't worry about it. I'll know if you're good or not by battling you right now. Ready, Johto boy? Johto boy? Like, that's an insult? <laughs> okay, racist. <laughs> um, well, I guess Johto's not like a different country, but whatever. Okay. I mean, maybe it is. They don't really specify. A little country. Oh man, he is pre pretty tough here. Pretty high level Pidgeot here. Oh 
Oh my god. I think that Blue is really just a Lyco enthusiast. That's what's going on. That's my guess. He just loves Lyco. Maybe he had enough clout to get like a Lego sponsorship, or maybe like... Maybe it's just a promotional thing, you know? Lego were like, what can we do for our marketing campaign this year? Um, I know, let's like sponsor a gym, turn it into a big Lego gym. It'll be great for publicity. Okay, it's time to... Destroy this goddamn bird. Come on, jeez. Okay. Hell yeah. Right, level 59, huh? That's a pretty big sheep. Oh man, he has so many big Pokemon. So many huge big Pokemon. All right, let's get Soup out here too. Uh, surf all over this right on. All right, surf time. Hmm. It's pretty good. There we go. Hmm. Level forty-nine. Beautiful. A lot of growth today. Why is Big Sheep so strong? I didn't even use Big Sheep for the last while of this game, for the most part. Really, but. It just worked out that way. Um, let's get a ball over here. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know, big sheep's a huge, powerful muscle sheep, so... What can I do? It can't be contained. <laughs> Clearly Big Sheep's the level I, I'm supposed to be at. <laughs> yeah. Leader Blue was about to use Alakazam. Oh my. Ah, uh, this Alakazam doesn't scan me. I think you should take on red at this same level. Oh no. <laughs> mm, another Aeroblast sh should do it. We'll be... It'll be perfect. No grinding needed. <laughs> All right. Come on. Yes. Get out of here. Ugh. Good job, big ugly puff. Hmm, Gyarados. I think I'll get big sheep back in and deal with that. Deal with that situation.
Pokemon. And it's an Arcanine. A beautiful Arcanine. Alright, let's get Super in here. Surfing time, everybody. It is surfing time. Oh, well, there it goes. Almost, almost done. Bigglypuff's gonna beat Red Single Handed. <laughs> you better believe it. <laughs> Like we be uh, blue. It's <laughs> gonna say red. That's a different, a different character. Mm hmm. What? How the heck did I lose to you? All right, here, take this. It's Earth Badge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beat every color. Whoa. Hey, thanks for following. We are here to destroy. All right, I was wrong. You're the real deal. You are a good trainer. But I'm going to beat you someday. Don't you forget it. All right, whatever. Whatever. Do 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 <laughs> what is this? Did I come here before? <laughs> Champion from Palette travel to all the cities and towns in Canada. Okay. Sure. I love H Bomber Guy content. Me too! I mean, thanks! <laughs> Welcome to Trainer House, the newest and most happening Ugh. place in Viridian <laughs> where open to trainers only. You can battle against the best of the best right downstairs. Whoa, what? Ooh, I'm taking a rest from Pokemon battles. Alright, that's fair. Do, 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 do. The old practice battles downstairs here. I would love to see how well a trainer from Johto battles. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Whoa. Viridian is the town closest to Indigo Plateau. They built this place because so many trainers passed through on their way up to Indigo Plateau. Okay. Cool. This whole town hates us because we're from Johto. I know. It's uh, a little bit weird, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't have a Pidgeot? Crazy. I don't have a Pikachu? Alright, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm, let's go over here. Hell yeah. Do, 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 do. Here I am. Let me over here. This way leads to Mount Silver. You'll see scary strong Pokemon out there. Hell, yeah, let me in there. Oh man, yeah, I don't want to go through that. I don't want to go through that. I forgot that was there, to be honest with you. Pew pew! Alright, okay. Let's go to, um... 
palette. Hell yeah. Here we are. Word palettes are all so small. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Professor Oak. Ah, you're collecting Kanto Gym? Yeah, man. Come on. You know. Oh, you'll have a gift for me. Oh, 199 Pokemon seen. Hell yeah. Alright. There was a gym I didn't do? <laughs> How is that possible? Okay. Let's see. I did that one. I did that one. I did that one. Oh! I didn't come back to Vermilion after I lost the first time. Okay. Let's finally destroy Lieutenant Surge. Da -da 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 -da. Totally forgot that I moved on from, from him. <laughs> and then blocked that right out of my mind. All right, it's time to go. Okay, LT Surge, it's time to die. It's time to get destroyed. How did you lose to Surge with a team mostly made up of water and flying types? God, I don't know, it's a mystery. Hey there, fellas. Hello, hey little boy, <laughs> have to hand it to you. You may not be very smart to challenge me, but it takes guts. When it comes to electric Pokemon, I'm number one. <laughs> I've never lost on the battlefield. I'll zap you just like I did my enemies in war. <laughs> Hell yeah. In war. Oh my goodness, it's a big Raichu. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Ah. Oh, you're at war? Then it's illegal to kill Surge. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh. It's happening. It's happening again. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> My Pokemon are... They ain't good. They're bad. They're very not good. Alright, I guess it's time for Bigglypup. Pup. Bigglypup! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. My party is really, um, not arranged for, for this gym in particular at all. It's, um... <laughs> Bigglypuff is weak as hell. I'm sorry to say it. But Bigglypuff, who I, um, organized my stream around, is in fact the weakest <laughs> The weakest Pokemon! Ah. Okay, well. Summon a uh, punch. Summon a punch. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Do not hurt me. Was this Raichu used as artillery? I don't know the stories, really, but I am afraid. Okay. Oh, God damn it, right you. God damn it, right you. <laughs> Look at the smug face. <laughs> uh, uh. 
the face of a Pokemon who knows it can destroy me and my entire life. Oh, we have so many Pokemon. Let's uh, switch to Shulip for a second. Oh, you think Raichu's face was smug? Check out that electrode. That's, that's DreamWorks, that is. Luckily, H-Bomb is doing an even more smug face. You're damn right. Oh god, oh my god, oh no. Oh no. Come on, don't do this, Electrodes Chad. <laughs> Seriously. The, the, <laughs> the Virgin Voltorb, the Chad Electrode, am I right? Electric Pokemon are the smuggest Pokemon. Mmm. Ooh, it's burnt. Very good. If I lose this battle, I'll cry. Dark Pokemon are the smuggest Pokemon. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. Let's do this thing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, good job, Tulip. Another electrode? Okay. Oh my goodness. Don't double team. Stop it. You can't do this to me. Do not. My whole strategy is just yelling at the Pokemon to stop whatever they're doing. <laughs> That's like my entire thing. And I will not stop. Oh. Why are all this battling it ties me out? I gotta say it. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Yeah. Lily would run onto the arena battlefield and just yell at the enemy Pokemon. <laughs> Hell yeah, I would. Stop it! <laughs> uh... Hey, McRib, I resent that. I would never put something on YouTube.com. Alright, it's time to destroy an Electabuzz's life. It's time to go. It's time to dance. Am I right? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, that's Aeroblast, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Okay, Electabuzz, try to harm me. You can't. Oh, you can. <laughs> you can a little bit. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, god damn it. No. Don't use a, a potion. That's nonsense. Potions. Can't use a potion. 
That's bad. Come on, Pokemon. <laughs> okay, Magneton. Okay, wow. I'm getting there, kind of. Kinda getting there. It's time to get out of here. Imagine having to be the Magnemite that's upside down in that trio. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna make a comic about that. That's hilarious. Oh, ball. Come on. Come on, ball. Come on, ball. You could do it. God damn it, ball. Hold on. Hold on, ball. <laughs> Oh my god. Ball! Hold on. You can do it, ball. Ball! Ball! <laughs> oh no. Come on, ball. God damn it. Ugh. Oh man. Okay. Jesus Christ. Alright. Big sheep time. Da 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 We did it. <laughs> okay, boy, you get Thunder Badge. Yes. I did it. Harold received Thunder Badge. Woo. We did it. <laughs> Lieutenant Search, the real champion of Johto and Kanto. Honestly. Cowboy, it's your URL H Bomber Guy 2, you force of chaos. Cause I'm H one guy too. I'm sick of this question. Hey boy, I'm still slugging and chugging away. <laughs> My Pokemon and I still at it. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Ah. Uh, okay. Let's see. Do 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 do. So long. Definitely did Celadon, I did Zephyron, I did Vigia. I did all the gyms, right? I'm, I must have done all of them. I'm just thinking, like, if there was another one that I didn't realize I hadn't done, I'd be like, is my, is my brain gone? I don't... <laughs> it has to be the last one. And I bet he called everyone boy. Yeah. Wow, that's excellent. You call... Yeah, I did it. Hey, thanks for the donation. Nice. Uh, I was writing my assessment of you. Tell you what, Barrels, I'll make arrangements so that you can go to Mount Silver. Mwah. 
Mount Silver and the Big Mountain. That is how- uh, do you- listen, you already have me at Big Mountain. Country roads take me home, Professor Oak. I'm ready. Uh, home to many wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits. But we can make an exception in your ca I'm still like a ten year old, but fine. Go up to Indigo Plateau, you can reach Mount Silver from there. How is your Pokedex go? Listen, I I just told you about my Pokedex, so we don't need to We don't need to go we don't um We're good with the We're good with that. Come on. Alright, okay. Alright. So I'm gonna head to Mount Silver, I guess. What are we gonna do there? What are we gonna do there? Mm -mm -mm. Alright, let's heal. And uh, go up a mountain, I guess. Whatever. Only true Chad trainers are allowed to go to Mount Silver. Ugh, isn't that just the truth? Do, 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 do. Well, I guess this has to be the last stream. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to um, play this game <laughs> until I beat Red. Do 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 do. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna get my. I'm gonna get my bike. Get on my bike. Live my life. You know. Here we go. Love my bike. Why is it Mount Silver and not Mount Gold? Well, because it's cool, alright? Route 28. Okay. Alright. Well, here we are. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's a Don fan. Look at that incredible man. Ah, uh, woman, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Pokemon Silver is the only thing that can kill werewolves. Uh... <laughs> Look at the size of that lady. True. Huge woman. What a woman indeed. What a woman indeed. Mm -mm. Oh, look at it. Sweet Rapidash. It's not as powerful as my Rapidash, except it is like, two levels higher. <laughs> okay, one level higher. Fine. That's fine. I think Atrocity is going to have a pretty good time here. Mm -hmm. ah. Battles every day, huh? Oh, don't you, oh. Aw, that's my son. That right there? That's my son. Mothcub, who's your favourite Pokemon? I'm here to ask the basic questions only. You know what? I really love Ponyta. Um, definitely one of my favourites. I don't think I have one true favourite though, but Raichu is a huge fave. <laughs> okay, one more Dragon Rage. Maybe we can catch this little fella. This little sweet child of the light. <laughs> Why didn't you make Tulip do it? Killing its fellow Rapidash would be a healthy experience. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that evil money? Well, I need to like get a new computer. I've been saying this for like, I feel like I've been saying it for like two years that I need to get a new computer and I'm just like, no, 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 it's fine. Hey, Charles. I will kill. Don't you believe, don't, don't you believe it? I will kill. Um, so that's one thing I need money for. <laughs> uh, oh, I do. Oh, I really want to get a Switch at some point as well. Jesus Christ. 
Why do um games consoles have to cost money? That's my question. Dodo wrote, twin birds. It races through grassy plains with powerful strides, leaving footprints up to four inches deep. Cute. What should I call it? Give me a little name for my little Dodo. Raichu doesn't get enough love, and Ultra Moon Raichu's description says, because so many trainers like the way Pikachu looks, you don't see this Pokemon very often. Yeah, I really like Raichu. It's like a big ol... Big... It's bigger. <laughs> it's big. That's all. I don't know. Someone's drawn to Raichu for some reason. Why does anything cost money? Oh, well, true. If anything could be free, I think I'd be like food. Dodo's no new name is Big. All right, sure. That makes sense. It's Big. There you go. Second on food. I'm just like food, I have to constantly be like, oh, I have to get more food. And I have to pay for it. Ugh. And I have to go get, no, come on. I'm sure if you do more pay me one pound for art, you'll get a switch in no time. Yeah, I don't like to do those too much because it's quite an intensive thing to do. <laughs> and also, it, it, the more I do it, the less my commissions seem viable because I charge a lot more for those and it's obviously qu quite similar. Um, but you know, it's fun. I do it because it's fun and it's low pressure like compared to a commission, you know? Why haven't you called every Pokemon big something? Well, you know, it's nice to have a little variety. Like big atrocity, okay, that's fair, but I think big atrocity would just be too long. I, I don't think that would fit. So it's the game's fault on that one. Um, big money for big evil, correct, correct. Gotta eat that stuff or else. I know, why? I don't appreciate that. <laughs> I, for one, love that I got my drawing for 90% off. <laughs> yeah. It's just nice to have like a more relaxed avenue to like essentially do requests. Um, but like, <clears throat> I need to do full price commissions. You know. I don't want to set a precedent, is my point. Like, it's a fun thing, not a like serious business thing. <laughs> Ponyta? Look at- po I just love Ponyta because it's a horse that's on fire, you know? The simple things in life. Atrocity is a really good name for the Red Gyarados. Somebody suggested it on the stream. I usually- most of these Pokemon are suggested names. So I have a good time, you know. You know, audience pays big bucks for commissions, furries. Yeah, maybe, yeah. It seems like there are a lot of um, artists of that vein and stuff. <sighs> oh, I am sleepy. I'm a sleepy little baby. Do you think the Red Gyarados only exists to let people know that shinies really exist? Def definitely had to be part of the whole thing of like, here's shiny Pokemon are a thing. Check it out. They're visible now, because you have to look at this one. <laughs> Furry watercolors are the next big thing. That sounds great. I kind of dislike, I don't know if this is like a thing that anyone in the world cares about in any way at all, but I kind of dislike when people refer to like anything that is an animal or like a cartoon animal as furry because I feel like furry is a specific kind of thing. Um, whatever. <laughs> and like, I think it's mostly a joking thing. Like this is like the Animal Crossing characters. If you draw those, it's furry art. Like, you know, like that's a joke, but I'm just, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I agree, but I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> it's very ubiquitous, I suppose. Um, it's interesting how that happens with, with certain things or like terminology. <laughs> oh dear, you found me. Please don't tell anyone about me. 
I'll give you this for keeping my secret, please? Oh, all right. Gotta head out. Thank you for naming Doug Ju and Doug Ju a pig. <laughs> all right, thanks for uh, dropping by. Is dancing Luigi a furry? Luigi's a man. Yan, <laughs> Luigi's a man. <laughs> How could you say that? <laughs> I'm just like really dead shocked. I'm like, Luigi's a man. Please. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's continue our sweet, beautiful journey. That woman's house just out here. You know what? I would live where she lives. That would be great. Are you kidding me? That would be beautiful. That would be just a wonderful thing about my life. I'm sorry, Lily, but think about the evidence. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't do- what? <laughs> if animals have human personas, Luigi would be that. <laughs> what kind of animal though? It's Luigi a human persona. <laughs> Hume. <laughs> Honestly, from now on, any time I draw a person, which is honestly rare because I always am drawing animals only, usually, I will call them Humies. I will be like, this is a Humie drawing, check it out. <laughs> oh god, maybe like a raccoon. Oh yeah, raccoon's like my favorite animal. I love raccoons. Luigi's a meerkat, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> When I was in New York last September, there's like signs on all of the park gates and fences that are like, if you see a raccoon, don't go near it, don't feed it, like they are feral and tra can transmit diseases to you or whatever, and they might bite you. Um, and I, I was disappointed based on the frequency of those signs that I did not get to see a raccoon. <laughs> I really want to see a raccoon. <laughs> need to see a raccoon. Do you understand? 30 to 50 feral raccoons in my backyard. Well, I'm coming over to have them all just bite me to death. That's gonna happen. Ugh. Thank you for waiting. Your Pokemon are fully healed. All right, good. I am the feral raccoon in my garden. Ugh. Relatable moments. Mount Silver. They are hard to see. I've only seen like two in my entire life. Oh. Well, if you have any tips on, on uh, raccoon sightings, let me know, because I, uh, I need to see one. <laughs> I've never seen a raccoon in real life before. I don't even think they exist in Dortmund. Dortmund? That sounds like a place where there's a castle. Is there a castle there? Because that's what I'm just, I'm thinking, sounds like somewhere that a castle would be, you know? I've never seen a raccoon. Me neither. Where are they? Bring them to my house. Bring them to my life. Where are they? I'm gonna go to where one is. I'm gonna adopt it as my child. Oh, I see I'm at the rabies enthusiast convention. Oh no. Don't say that. Someone will take you seriously. Um. <laughs> I remember there was a thing on Tumblr where someone, there was like a whole drama where some about someone who was like endorsing rabies. Um. <laughs> or like people were just mad that they were joking about wanting to get rabies or something. I don't know. Whatever. That castle? No, everything was bombed here like 80 years ago. Don't know why. Huh. Oh, well, that's a curious one there, Yan. I wonder what happened there. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, the whole rabies pipe. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh god, I have a, some kind of vague memory of that. Not in Iceland. Well, Iceland has uh, really cool horses. 
gotta tell you that much. I know that much. It's something I know about Iceland. I watched a video once about a lady who was trying to get her pet cat through an airport check-in. The cat was hiding in her bag for an entire flight. Wow. How? <laughs> How did that work out? <laughs> Iceland is great. I've been there once um, a couple of years ago. In January, for some reason, was my choice. It was covered in snow, which was beautiful. Um, but I did fall over, like, too many times. <laughs> I fell over quite a lot, and I was like, okay, well, I guess that's how my life is going. But it was great. I, I think Iceland is a really fun place to go. Ha, January, January, yes. It's named after you, right? But we pronounce the J for some reason. I recommend it, but I've only lived here, so I'm biased. You like it, living there? <clears throat> January. <laughs> if you go to Scotland, Jan, uh, come hang out with me and my granddad or something. <laughs> I'm going up there for Christmas, because all my family live there. Oh, it's a nice place and the politics are only a little shitty. Okay, cool. <laughs> Patreon top tier. <laughs> hang with me and my granddad. Honestly, I always just want ev I want to invite everyone to hang out with me and my granddad. Because I feel like it just makes sense. Come to my granddad's house, he'll, he'll like give you a weird liqueur. It'll be great. Also, the Bobby Duck is a fun username. <laughs> you can't share such high value experiences. Mm, maybe not. As soon as the um, new <laughs> Star Wars trailer came out, I was like, okay, which family member am I gonna convince to come with me? And then like a day later, my aunt, with no prompting from me, just texts me like, okay, so we're gonna go, see I'm gonna see Star Wars with some friends. Do you wanna come? And I was like, well, that's my plans, figured out. <laughs> I'm very excited for that because I just have like a tradition at this point of seeing it in the cinema because I don't go very often to see anything. But with Star Wars, I'd like get really excited to go see it in the cinema. That's great. I feel like I'm slowly making friends with via Twitter, but I'm also afraid I'm never going to see any of them in Germany. Mm -hmm. I had some family members who lived in Germany when I was a kid. So I went to, uh, I went to Hamlin where they lived when I was like 11, which I really liked. I'm sure at some point I'd come back to Germany. I've been there another time as well. I think, I, I think I've only been there twice, but I've been there and I'll probably go there again at some point, I would imagine. Tell us about your cool family. Um, <laughs> well, most of my family live in Scotland. So we're pretty far away from each other. But I usually go up to see them at Christmas, which I'm doing this year. And uh, it's gonna be great. See Star Wars. And I'm gonna drink a lot of wine. My granddad actually turned 80 a few days ago. So, uh, that's exciting. Imagine turning 80. I hear there are a lot of rats in Hamlin and a man who plays a pipe. Yeah. Who is that guy? Who is he? Wars and wine sounds like a fine time. Mm-hmm. 
It's gonna be great. I love hanging out with my family. I feel like I like it more the older I get. I'm like, I'm ready. Where is Hamlin? Honestly, I have no idea where Hamlin is. <laughs> I'd be so proud of myself if I made it to AC. We, I mean, hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, it's like a unfathomable age in some ways, but also a very normal age, you know? Does that sound silly? I ju it's just like, a, it's obviously like strange to think of um, being like elderly, I guess. But it's like a thing that most people experience, so it's gonna be great. I'm kind of excited to be old in a way. You know, like, I think we should celebrate that stuff more. I feel like, you know, I don't know. Whatever. Oh yeah, it's spelled Hamlin, yeah. Like, with an E. Hamlin. Uh, is 80 normal? It feels so high to me, but yeah, I mean, a lot of people die earlier, for sure. I mean, isn't it above a lot of average ages? So in fairness, maybe I'm totally wrong with the, like, most people get to 80. <laughs> Ugh. My grandfather was 66 when he died, wow. Yeah, I still have, um, three grandparents alive. And they're getting pretty old now, so... I guess I'm kind of lucky in that regard. But my point is, like, that I think of 80 as, like, an achievable age, I guess, rather than, like, a, um... I don't know, maybe instead of, like, most people will be 80, it's just, like, a... Like, you can imagine it for yourself. It's possible, it's, like, pretty normal. It's, like, vaguely normal. <laughs> You wouldn't expect to for sure die before 80. Might get to 40 before the watercolor fumes get you. Oh no. I always notice whenever it's whenever I like have a birthday, um there's always people who are joking around with it like about haha, you're old or like um, I don't know, stuff like that and stuff like, um, mm, where was I going with that sentence? I don't know where I was going with that sentence. But like people joke around about it and it's like, it just it becomes like this thing where it like always has to be commented on in this like odd negative way or a jokey way and like, that's whatever, but it kind of makes me sad that we treat age that way so constantly. Especially when I see like some 21 year old having a birthday and talking about how they're like old. And I'm like, come on, man, come on. You're a, you're, you're, you have your whole life just waiting for you there. But I get it, obviously. I get that people feel strange in that era of their lives and stuff. But I just kind of want to, I, I just kind of want to be a little more like earnestly positive about that kind of thing, you know? I'm going to be 29 um, in a few months. <laughs> Life is complaining about how old you are. I know, but it's just like, it's tiring to hear people who are like in their 20s and their 30s like acting like they're really old and it's some big deal. And, of course, that's fine to do on your own, and, like, I also, it's, like, people can, people are allowed to complain and joke however they, way they want, but when it comes to, like, me having a birthday and talking about it, and then someone makes jokes 
about me being old, it's like mean. It's like genuinely kind of mean. And, uh, and even, you know, people d will do the thing of like complimenting me for like seeming young or something. And I'm like, come on, Let's, can we just not do that? Can we just like enjoy our lives? You know, <laughs> it just, it makes me sad. And I'm like, it really doesn't matter. And also for me personally, I feel like I'm way happier and just every part of my life is better now than say when I was 20. I feel like it's just, as I get older, there's so much more fun stuff in my life because of the like experience of being older. So for me, it's a positive thing. And I think we should be more into that. I'm excited to be 30. I think it'll be cool. Yeah, I hated being younger, being older rocks. See, you, you're right here on my side. <laughs> I just think it's like more healthy for everybody. And like young people stress out like crazy about their ages. And it's like, listen, don't worry, it's going to be better. It'll be great. <laughs> like, it'll be fine. <laughs> I hate when people say the best years of your life are your teenage years. That's such BS for anyone who was ever unhappy in secondary school because they were struggling to figure themselves out like most teenagers. Yeah, exactly. Like, I think most people have more of a negative experience of like being a teenager. Especially because like even physiologically you have all your hormonal unpleasantness. Um, I didn't have a great time. <laughs> Then? No, it wasn't, it wasn't a good time. Twitter does aid us all though. Oh well. Yeah, you gotta log off sometimes, really. <laughs> uh, yeah. Remembering being a teenager? Very weird feeling. Very weird feeling. I'm way happier in my... 20s now I'm more comfortable with who I am and I expect to be happier in my 30s for similar reasons. When I was a kid, when I was like a little kid, I always thought that I had this weird dream that that when I was 35 it would be the best. <laughs> I'm not sure where this came from, but I, I feel like I still kind of believe that it was like a weird thing that I thought as a little kid and I was like, that'll be the perfect age for me. Um, and I still kind of believe it a little bit. I think it came partially from like looking up to people from around their age at the time and being able to talk to them easily and also probably reading a lot. Like I was kind of into stuff that 35 year olds would talk about. I don't know, I saw it as like a good age for some reason. So I'm looking forward to that, I guess. Anyway, you think I should fight Red now just to see how I fare? Cause like, I'm for sure gonna lose and then have to come back. I don't know whether I should try fight him now or just leave for, uh, um, you think I should go for it? I wonder what it's like for Red to watch you grinding a few feet away from him. <laughs> Blackouts are super dramatic. Okay, let's do it. Oh, the music stops. He doesn't say anything. I love how he just doesn't say anything. Uh, okay. Pikachu. Well, level 80. How am I gonna- this is gonna take me 500 years to, uh... How old is Red? He's gotta be like 13 only. I think it's only supposed to be like a few years difference from the original game. Ah! Uh... God damn it. Big Pikachu, imagine you're as old as your strongest Pokemon. You're 50 on me winning? Oh shit. You gotta go, go go back to the, um, you gotta, you better go back to Ladbrokes now. All right. Oh jeez. Level 80. 81 even. Hey, thanks for following. Love to get followed. It brings me strength in my life. Time for Big Whip to shine. Oh god. God bless you for fighting him, this is hysterical. 
Well, if I manage to beat Pikachu without killing every Pokemon, then uh, then my Bagglypuff can get like a whole lot of experience, right? So, <laughs> oh my God. Ugh. All right, let's use Thunder Wave, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> Hey, it had to be done. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> wow, I'd love to get like one attack in on this goddamn Pikachu. <laughs> I think you're slightly underleveled. No, no, no. No, Yan. That's not true at all. <laughs> oh boy. Two motionless Pokemon laying on the field. <laughs> I'm dying in this world. I don't understand. Why doesn't Big Sheep, the larger Pokemon, simply eat the Pikachu? Just gonna chomp on this Pikachu now. It's fine. It's fine. Oh god, Jesus. <laughs> it's been like a year since I've stopped studying English and I feel like I'm forgetting how to shrive in English. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like that. God damn it, Pikachu. God damn it, Pikachu. This Pikachu won Mr. Universe six times. <laughs> oh man. Has anyone seen the documentary about, um, Body bodybuilders, man. What is it called? Arnold Schwarzenegger is in it, and there's a guy called Mike Katz in it, who was my favorite one. It's about a bunch of different bodybuilders. <laughs> um, oh my god. Yes, the one. Yes, yes. Pumping iron. That's the one. Yeah. It's fascinating and awful and great. Oh, jeez. I feel like Big Sheep just can't eat Pikachu as long as it can defend itself. Yeah, it's, uh, it's tough to eat a Pikachu. I guess it's just too tough. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hmm. <laughs> H-Pom watched Pumping Iron and now she's fucking ripped. Oh, Jesus. Look at Venusaur. This is... This is so much. Okay. God, I want to eat a Pikachu. Re oh, well, come to my restaurant. Time for Big Loop Up to shine, I'll keep saying it. <laughs> We're doing great. I think I feel like gonna win. I think uh I think we're gonna I think we're gonna win. Oh. Okay. Alright. It's uh <clears throat> it's a big loop up time. <laughs> okay, let's have a little body slam. Doing great. Doing a great job. <laughs> Come on! Hey now, hey now, that's rude. That's rude. You wouldn't solar die. You wouldn't do a solar beam if. Oh. Okay. Okay. This is uh. This is fine. Okay. Great. Well. <laughs> uh. You wouldn't download a big loop up. All right. So, I figure it's like train a smaller Pokemon. You know? Maybe gets uh, work on the Pokedex a little bit. Let's do that. 
Let's, um... Let's see... Alright, we'll put soup in there for now. Time for 20 streams of grinding on Zubats. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Um... Hmm... Cruelty. Oh, God. Look at all these Pokemon. Incredible. Gorgeous. <laughs> do, 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 do. Let's train Pidgeotto for a little bit. Get McRib out of the daycare. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm gonna do that um, in a little bit, I think. And then... Um, Alright, let's... Take the XP share. <laughs> Alright, it's gonna be great. We're gonna just train some Pokemon for a while. <laughs> a flying type is exactly who you need to beat Red's Pikachu. It, yeah. Okay. Let's get battling. Let's do this thing. Do, 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 Oh, Doduo, you sweet thing. The flying water combo has worked wonders against Surge. Mmm, true. <sighs> this Doduo looks even more beautiful than the rest. Ah, oh, so true. So right. just get so powerful. Look at its gorgeous dirt brown fur. Hey now, that's a, that's a beautiful earthy tone representative of uh, this beautiful planet that we live on, you know? All right, it's going pretty great. Oh, it burnt? That's fine. It's what I wanted, so... Don't even worry about that for a second. Feeling the burn. Yep. Bernie Sanders is responsible for this. Gorgeous dirt brown fur is my hair colour during exams. <laughs> well, I think my hair colour is some sometimes described as dishwater brown or dishwater blonde. Which, uh, is beautiful description. <laughs> if Dodo was a human girl, she'd be described as mousy by Atoll. You know what? I really like the term mousy because that sounds really cute to me. So, hell yeah. <laughs> also, I feel the same way about the word homely, which I guess is supposed to mean like plain, but it sounds so cute. Homely? Does, not, does that not sound cute as hell? Stream brightened my, up my whole day. Bye, friends. Thanks for joining us, the Bobby Duke. Um, we'll fight on in your honor. <laughs> Homely like a cozy home. Exactly, that's what I think of. I just think that sounds incredibly cute. How to make H from like a word. Put a Y on the end of it. Honestly, yeah, it's really easy. Put a Y on the end of something. It does sound cute. You just can't deny that. <laughs> Atrocity, for example, adorable word. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna heal. I don't wanna be burned. Luigi, oh my God. <laughs> Luigi with the Y. Yeah, isn't that the cutest thing you could ever imagine? Don't lie to me, you know that it is. You know. <laughs> yeah. Alright, more fighting. Back to the back to the fights. Oh my god, it's a Dodrio. Oh my god, it's a Dodrio. Can you believe it? Look at that. Oh, beautiful creature. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I do genuinely think if someone has a name ending in Y, I will think that name is cute. Including my own name. <laughs> it's just easy. It's an easy, instant cue. Alright, let's see if we can catch this dome trio. Mwah! Oh man, it's tough, it's fighting to get out of pool. Do 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 do. <laughs> Time to catch the spurb. The spurred. We did it. Got a little dodrio. All right. Triple bird. <laughs> if one of the heads gets to eat, the others will be satisfied too, and they will stop squabbling. What a beautiful uh, symbol of peace. All right, let's name this thing. What should I name it? What should I call Dojo? I too stop squabbling when I get to eat. <laughs> Okay. Twasso it is. It's pretty good. <laughs> oh, I'm naming it all caps. Okay, I'm just gonna name all caps now that I've started to do that. Because I didn't think about it. Get it, Twasso. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I get it. No, I didn't. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, I hope I can get to the end of a tree on Duolingo sometime. I'd get a, I did get fairly close to the end of the German tree at one point, but at this point all the skills are degraded, so it would take me a long time to get there. But I feel like that's my best bet. And one day, I gotta do it. <laughs> German is easy when you're born in Germany. <laughs> oh, maybe I should try that next time. German might not help as it was a French joke. Oh! on another ponytail. Ooh, your mother is a French teacher. Very cool.
I have taken three French courses and forgotten everything. Ah, oh, that's the way it goes. I did French at school and that really didn't help me at all. <laughs> I didn't remember any info from that. Hey, thanks for following Black Goat 666. What a what a Halloween appropriate username. I had Latin in school. Oh man, that rules. I always really wanted to study Latin. It wasn't a thing in my schools. I know there's now a Latin course on Duolingo though, which um, seems pretty sweet. Duolingo is still the best phone game in existence. <laughs> yeah. Dodrio, huh? So many Dodrio. They don't have words for yes or no, but a hundred words and phrases to describe death. <laughs> they say that all Tanglers are just people with long hair who have just woken up. That's true. recently made a song using just the sounds from Pokemon Cries. Mmm, that sounds fun. I guess Big Sheep could uh, get to level 60, that would be great. If you could be a Dodrio head, which Dodrio head would you be? What an interesting question. I think I'd be- <laughs> yes, I wrote for buzzfeed.com. <laughs> I would be the middle one. center of attention much. Yeah, that's the point. I get the food first, which is all Adodrio cares for.
That's why I'm the fiery, sassy, right head. <laughs> oh my god. Right head is the Raphael of the Dodrio. <laughs> to kill. We love to kill every day. Get this pickle. Oh. Yeah, we you. We we we. Do 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 do. Do do. each other. Please. Don't don't be foolish. Vegetable fans in the chat there. Some vegetable fans in the chat. A lovely aubergine. Ah. How are we gonna get leveled up enough for this to work out for me? <laughs> like, how long is that gonna take? gonna use the XP share anymore. I'm just gonna... Heck, 99 rare candies. Oh, true. I should do that. I'm gonna heal. <laughs> Is that a Luigi? Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I'm gonna just look at the other boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
save game, blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Luke here should have been called Luigi. Oh my god. True. Protect it. Big money. Stantler. Normal tree. Mm. Oh my god, Blanche. Yeah, let's try to like really low level Pokemon. I always really enjoy that. Oh. Hold on one second. Let's actually. Hell yeah, let's do that. Do the league again. Oh yeah, maybe I should do that. Train with the league. Yeah, that makes sense. La 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 la. All right, let's do that. Why not? Perfect suggestion. Oh, I can't fly inside the Pokemon Center. Okay. Let's do it. Oh. Jesus Christ. I do perfect suggestions. Don't you just... Excuse me, you're in my way. I think you should grind on level 3 Zubats. Wow, Mukro, that's a pretty great suggestion. Maybe I'll do that later. Maybe not right now. <laughs> yes, take a look at my rail pass. Oh god, this music slaps. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> la 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 la. Da da da. Da 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 da. Do do do. Do 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 do. Okay, it's time to go. Let's go. Alright, you know what? Actually, before I begin, I have to um, visit the bathroom, so I'll be back in a minute. And we'll be at the Elite Four. It'll be great. See ya. Don't do any- don't organize any plans in the chat. <laughs> um, I'm watching you. The FBI, they watch this chat, so just be careful. Right, it's early four time. Do, 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 do. Hey, what? Hey, everybody. Let's let's think about Pokemon now. All right, let's uh, think hard and fast about Pokemon and how we're gonna destroy the Elite Four. Okay. All right. Da, 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 da. Let's go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
For every Pokemon Big Sheep kills, drink wine. Wow, interesting, uh, interesting game there. Alright, let's destroy. Ugh, oh, Mithin's gonna get some levels. <laughs> Oh my, here's a jinx. I'm drinking to forget our loss at Red's hand. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure that'll work. What loss? Oh. <laughs> Some levels one day. <laughs> one day in this world, we'll get some levels. Ooh, poison powder. Mmm. It's pretty good. With that one last boom, 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 jinx collapsed on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, let's get rid of growth. Who needs that? Am I right? Who needs that? Do, 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 do. <laughs> uh oh, it's an executor. <laughs> the big sheep can no longer grow old. This big sheep. <laughs> yes, it is. You're correct. <laughs> All right. Nobody gets on the bad side of big sheep. <laughs> Thanks for hosting me, Wizzy. We're here with big sheep, and we're ready to destroy everybody's lives. Every time I see Slowbro, I'm just like, I love my son. <laughs> You've got further than me. Oh, well. We're trying. We're trying our best in this world. I died at the first Pokemon trainer because my randomizer is evil and hates me. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It smells wine as well because it's Christmassy. Oh. Oh, I'd love some mulled wine right now. Hell yes. I don't think I need stun spore. <laughs> Alright, last Pokemon. <laughs> Time for yet another video at Tesco. All the best videos are at Tesco. What better setting is there? Mm -hmm. I I can't believe it. How is the lighting at Tesco so perfect for making YouTube videos? <laughs> what else are you gonna do at Tesco? You can do anything at Tesco. If my white, if my uh, Wi-Fi goes down, I just go use the Tesco Wi-Fi, and uh, it solves all my problems. All right, time to fight Koga. Yeah, I know Koga. I know what you're all about. And I'm gonna destroy you once again. The best thing to do at Tesco is to go get passport photos. Alright, it's not my favorite thing to do, but I respect it. Oh, Koga. We 
You think you can destroy me? But you can't. I'm too cool. Ah, oh, come on, big sheep. You can do better than that. <sighs> bringing the conversation back to needy language apps. I've been doing a lot of Lingvist lately. Oh, I don't think I've tried that one. Um, I, I use Duolingo and I use Memrise. Um, and that's kind of... I don't wanna... I'm done trying <laughs> language apps, I guess, aside from that. Uh, how's Lingvist, though? It's like a language flashcard. Oh, tell a lie, I also use Anki, but, um, I don't use it for language anymore. I use it for, like, random things, like learning the president's names. <laughs> Because <laughs> I wanted to learn all the president's names and I, and I was like, I bet there's an Anki back for that. And there is. So I'm going to know everything about the presidents. Um, by which I mean only their names. <laughs> so let's see. Um, George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson. Uh, who was the next one? <laughs> There's like... There's, there's a James Madison and a James Monroe, and I get them confused, uh, the order of them. Um, Martin Van Buren. Wait, J uh, John Quincy Adams, Martin Van Buren. Um, ah, oh, jeez. Uh, William Henry Harrison. John Tyler, James K. Polk. And that's like where I'm at. I'm at like 11. <laughs> Who was present before Trump? Oh, me. <laughs> A friend of mine can speak Polish, French, German, and English, Korean, and Japanese. There's a lot of languages there. All right, let's switch over to, I guess, Atrocity. Fortress, the gun Pokemon. Honestly, Fortress needs to leave me alone. I didn't ask for this, so I don't want this. Um, get out of here. <sighs> okay. Come on. Get this Pokemon out of here. Get this Pokemon out of my life. And away from my body. <laughs> ah, another little stuff. You might be thinking, you might think those white things are its eyes. Nope, more guns. <laughs> oh no. Mm hmm. Zachary Taylor is the 12th president, and I just learned that just now. Zachary Taylor, number 12. Forestress looks like the perfect dumpling. <laughs> That's given Forestress too much credit. Elite Volkoga is about to use Muck. Well, I guess I'll keep Atrocity on that. And get a Muck out there. And, um... Let's see, great. Let's throw a Dragon Rage at it, I guess. I guess? Hmm. <sighs> Alright, let's surf again. Let's do that. <sighs> uh, 
and this tiny muck. Come back, tiny muck. Get ready for a deluge of US president questions on your curious cat. Oh no. Alright, I guess it's time to surf once again. Surf should miss Tiny Muck. The animation takes up the whole screen. Shouldn't miss. Yes. I know, right? Hey, thanks for following Syrup Mode. I sound like Depeche Mode, but more delicious. Crobat. 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 I should get a crowbat. I should actually get a crowbat. That would be a smart move for me. Okay. Crowbar, but instead of a bar, it's a bat. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Uh. Crowbats are OP. I love crowbats. Love to have one. Love to oh my good god. Oh my god. This is disturbing. I can't believe you're doing this to my sweet, sweet atrocity. Ugh, goodbye. Our first fatality. Alright. Well, let's get Big Sheep back on the action. No, no, it's not time for Bigly Puff. It's never time for Bigly Puff. <laughs> I never bring Bigly Puff out. Bigly Puff needs to relax. Relax and rest. Okay, oh Jesus Christ, okay. Okay. Ah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Alright, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh my god. Big Sheep level 60. Alright, we're doing great. We need 20 more levels. <laughs> oh, jeez. Thinking again about, um... Getting some rare candies mysteriously added to my inventory. <laughs> Level 65 across the team was enough for me to beat Red. Mm. I'll still take me 20 freaking levels. <laughs> uh. Alright, let's see. Should I learn Acid? I could learn Acid. It could be great. Um, nah. Nah, it's fine. I won't do that. Big Sheep doesn't want to trip balls. Oh. Hey, Miffin's evolving. That's good news. Get it, come on. Let's move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Oh, look at it. Look at this beautiful face. Gorgeous. Okay, let's move on. Can't believe you can't rename it. Well, I mean, you know. Bruno of the Elite Four. Yeah, I know. We've already had this whole conversation. Don't worry about it. Come on, let's move on. 
be nice if you could just walk past Bruno into the next room. Yeah. I love how Game Freak never puts enough effort into the post game to change the Elite Four dialogue. Hey, don't make fun of Hitmontop's square pupils. He's a, like, he's a normal man. Let him live. Ah, <laughs> uh, spring out ball. looks particularly menacing today, doesn't he just? But uh, it doesn't, it doesn't take a lot to ruin his day. I'm back with a cheese sandwich, how many Pokemon been defeated? Oh, countless, countless hordes, gone. Um, I don't wanna, I don't wanna learn acid, get up. We almost defeated one. <laughs> Uh, hit more chan time, huh? Let's get back to Big Sheep. <laughs> Alright, okay, we don't have a huge amount of moves left. <laughs> Oh my god, almost out with one hit, but not quite. Damn it. <laughs> my diamond disappeared. Wait, what are you talking? What? <laughs> what's, what's happening? I'm getting sleepy over here. Anyone else feeling sleepy? Mm. Me just falling right asleep in the Elite Four. Oh, jeez. Okay. What are you talking about, my crib? Your diamond? Um, Jesus, okay, I'm losing my mind. My diamond isn't on one of my comments. I still don't know what that means, to be honest. The VIP diamond, oh, right. Oh, right, okay. Like, I can't think. Yeah, I'm seeing it now. Wait, did it just disappear on like one of them? <laughs> That's funny. 
I was like, wow, okay. Oh, <laughs> oh you're not important anymore. Oh. <laughs> Uh, the VIP icon on the, um, on the side there. Oh, man. Did I? Miffin level 25. It's still going good for Miffin. <laughs> What's even cooler? He gets a crown. Mm hmm That's because he's Twitch Prime. If you get, if you, if you love Amazon, you get a crown. That's how the queen got cor coronated. <laughs> uh, <coughs> okay. All right. Let's see if she looks some of this. Uh, I'm queen yacht. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Umbreon, am I right? Or an Espeon? Mm, which one? Maybe I should evolve my Eevee. Umbreon, more like Dumbreon, am I right? No! Don't, don't speak that way about my child. The hell? What the hell? <laughs> Espeon is where it's at. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Umbreon, Espeon. Mm, mm. It's just really the best. Uh, Alright, let's, uh, let's stomp. Let's do some stomps. Colosseum was dope because you started with an Umbreon and an Espeon. Damn. Damn. Colosseum. That'd be fun. Do, 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 do. Gengar. Alright, maybe let's switch. Um, let's get Ball in here. You have a Colosseum like the Romans? Bigglypuff, yeah. Bigglypuff, my sweet child. I have a good feeling about Bigly possibility to beat this Gengar, even though none of its moves can do any damage to a ghost type. <laughs> Ahem, Doom. Wow. 
Wigglypuff's way overrated in this chat for some reason. <laughs> Meanwhile, McRib has been at the daycare churning out eggs for some time now. Oh god. It's your fate, McRib. What can I say? Mm -hmm. I think it's just me who's unrepentantly <laughs> and overzealously standing Jiggly Bigglypuff for no reason other than it being funny. Hey, we all respect Bigly Path, and that's as it should be. Bring Chuba back into this world. Visited me early this year. Yesterday, my nose exploded in blood. Oh, <laughs> what happened? Are you still alive? Tulip, who was named after a flower, is now setting another plant on fire. Yeah, <coughs> catch the uh, symbolism there. It's pretty subtle. <coughs> there and talked to someone and suddenly I had blood all under my nose. Oh no. <laughs> Vile Plume is such a harsh name. Why can't it be called Smile Plume? Oh. <laughs> Alright, Karen's over. So that's great. Great, great, great. Onward we go. It's time to fight Lance again. Okay. You should go first. You know what? I'm gonna need to revive somebody. I'm gonna revive Atrocity. And that'll help me in my life. Alright. Guess who I think should go first? Is a big leaper. <laughs> By any chance. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Hello, hello. 
No, atrocity. Okay. <laughs> I'm lying. You had me pegged. Okay. I knew it. I knew. I know you. <laughs> I think Miffin should go first. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Big Lee Puff. Big Lee Puff. Big Lee Puff. Big Lee Puff. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I get happy when Big Lee Puff gets sloppy. Oh, me too. Hey, Big Lee Puff's doing okay now. That's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Hell yes. Mm -hmm. Bigly Puff is ready to kill. <laughs> Bigly Puff's the true hero of this run. I said it all along. It's true, it's true. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lily, I just saw your Instagram story. Apparently a stream. That's right. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. I hope you appreciate that extra eight experience you got from taking Gyarados' life. Yeah, I do. I really do. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> All right. When that was fine. It was fine. <laughs> Okay, let's move on. It's pretty good. Almost. Almost got it done. Yeah. Bigglypuff is now downgraded back to Jigglypuff. Lance is about to use Dragonite. Yeah, okay. Sounds about right. It's pretty good. New stream title is Soup Gets Flip. <laughs> oh man. Damn that hyper beam. Okay. Well, spring and ball. Spring and ball to get this done. Doing just fine. Bigly Puffly will always be my hero. Aww. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, Miffin's on level 29. Doing pretty great. Aerodactyl. Oh my goodness. Alright. Hydro Pump left? Let's do that. God damn it. <laughs> that sucks. Okay. If only you can import Bigglypuff in a Pokemon sword. Oh, I know, right? Miffin's gonna take down the last Dragonite. You better believe it. Miffin's gonna destroy this world. So, don't even worry about that. Alright. Jesus Christ, okay. Fine. Fine. Alright. It's atrocity time. <laughs> oh, god damn it. 
Lily, you forgot the most important thing. Spending way too much money on revives. Oh, true. Very true. Alright, it's Miffin time. Am I right? Let's see. I have a max potion. That's cool. Is this Aerodactyl sweeping your team? Well, they've suffered a lot, is the thing, but... It's hard. Alright, let's heal Atrocity again. Use a big potion on it. Wing attack? Excuse me. Don't smack into me with your wings. Come on, Miffin, take one for the team. <laughs> alright, alright, let's go. Da, 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 da. Alright, let's give a little surf. Man, this Aerodactyl's too fast, is the problem. Oh, let me let me attack first. Stupid ass Aerodactyl. Mm. Alright, well we had fun. <laughs> we had fun. Aerodactyl is the most smug Pokemon. Mm, true. I just don't carry potions as a thing, but or I didn't at the time. Yeah, I lost. But let's check out our levels. It's looking good. All right, let's go get um. Let's go get my crib. I'm Harry Potter. Two. <clears throat> we have arrived in Goldenrod. We hope to see you again. You won't. Let's go to the daycare, see what's going on with my Pokemon. Hello. Are we genius or so what? Want to see your McRib? <laughs> yes, I do. Nine levels, huh? Wow. Give it to me. Great. Alright. Okay. Grimps <laughs> level 30. It's pretty good. Pretty great. Alright, let's get the uh, experience share. There we go. It's time to get powerful in this world. <laughs> Alright, let's go to that silver cave. Oh my goodness, another ponyta. Can you believe it? Puff was burned. What the hell? Time to earn some experience doing absolutely nothing. Best internship ever. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm doing pretty great. I'm doing pretty amazing right now. Let's 
see we can't get full to level 50. Do we have anything for Big Lupa that's useful? Maybe a quick core? Yeah, let's do that. Or Focus Band. Yeah, actually, Focus Band is probably more helpful. Yeah, okay. <laughs> So what's the likelihood that you'll have a switch before Animal Crossing comes out? Mm, probably unlikely, to be honest. I don't know. Pokemon's coming out soon. Mm. Tell us all your financial information and credit cards yourselves, please. <laughs> Hmm. I'm gonna look at my TMs real quick. Oh, they're not in there. <laughs> I'm not planning on evolving Bigglypuff, but. Zap Cannon. <laughs> Dragon Breath? Wait, is that good? Those are pretty good moves over here. regular switch or light. I kind of like the lights. I'm gonna get a yellow one. Um, maybe Wall could learn it. Maybe. Yeah. Mm. Well, I never use Recover to be honest, so let's let's go for Dragon Breath. Oh yeah. Alright, Earthquake's pretty good too. Hmm. The Crip could learn that. <laughs> I don't think Ball has another move that I would like to get rid of. I have Hydra Pump, I have the Aero Blast. Yeah, I'll leave it that way. I think I'd go with a light. Although it'd be great to stream, but... Mm. Damn, there's a lot of ponytails here. Yeah. They just won't stop. Surf to McRib, I think. That makes sense. Let's do that. I want to do town visits when AC comes out, though, but we don't need to stream that. Oh, it would be so great, though. It would be so great. Alright, let's get rid of Growl, I guess. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> All right, I guess I'm gonna put them in. I'm gonna put them in order. Um, off level. <laughs> Keep surfing on the wave of life, Braski. <laughs> McRib should be McRibbed. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go in the cave again, I guess. Let's do it. Let's 
Let's see if we can get that item. Let's get an item. Hell yes. Do, 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 do. Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> we call Flash Swish here. Oh yeah. I forgot about that. Jesus, this sandstorm needs to stop. <laughs> okay. It's surfing time. Say horses don't exist, come on. I'm an escape probe, useful. exist in our hearts. Oh, man. <laughs> what I have learned? Nothing. Nothing at all. Alright. That Duolingo skill isn't even right because it's pan au chocolat. I just saw something uh, from like a BBC iPlayer promoted tweet and it says um, Dracula is a chilling new series from the creators of Sherlock coming soon at BBC One and I'm thinking that's not um, that, that's, that's a good way to get me to never watch something <laughs> from the creators of Sherlock oh no thanks then bye <laughs> no thank you <laughs> Ugh. I love being a Sherlock hater. <laughs> do, do, do. All right, why I can't have Tulip at the front. It's just a bad move. Do, 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 do. I still quite like Sherlock, to be honest. That's fair. I just never liked it. It just always annoyed me. <laughs> uh. do, 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 do. Not that hyped for Dracula. Mm. It's difficult with like Dracula related things. I feel like they're all extremely the same. You know, and it looks very like 
I don't know, from that tiny advert, it just looks like the same exact way that any Dracula thing has been done ever. And it bores me. And, uh... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it seems so dull. But, um, maybe it'll be great. Maybe it's great. Maybe I'd be shocked. I mean, I'd like that to be the truth. <laughs> I'd like to be able to watch Dracula and be like, Wow, this is good, actually. Sherlock made a generation of kids say when I grow up I want to be an asshole to everyone. Well, I just, um... I just find it annoying, that's all, <laughs> really. There was nothing really like, I, I find, I feel like if I watch a show there needs to be some character who I resonate with in some way and in, and in some shows there's just nobody who is that person for me and I and then find it difficult to really enjoy something. And that's kind of the case for Sherlock, I was like, mm, I don't really connect with anybody in this show, so. I feel like Gatta Smoffa are mostly worn out as a creative partnership. I think they kind of encourage each other's worst instincts. It's weird because like... I've definitely enjoyed stuff that Mark Gattis has been involved in. Separately. Um, but yeah, them together seems... Uh, just not to be my thing. <laughs> I can't say it ever talks about Sherlock on Tumblr. Um, Cause why would I when I just, <laughs> it's not really my interest. I definitely saw people being really into it on there. But I just, I was like, okay, cool. I never watched Supernatural. The only one, the one of the three I did enjoy is Doctor Who. <laughs> I did enjoy Doctor Who, but when Stephen Moffat started writing for it, I didn't like it anymore. Also, a real shame is that, um, for me, is that um, I really, really like Peter Capaldi, and when he was announced as the new Doctor, I was really excited, but I had long hated Stephen Moffat's run of the show. So I did watch it to see how Peter Capaldi would fare in it, and I, I was, um, it was just sad for me to see Peter Capaldi in the, in the role because he's fantastic as an actor and just have the most awful write-in. <laughs> it's a real- it was such a shame. <laughs> I'm glad that um, the new stuff I do quite like with um... Wow, what's her name? I totally forgotten. The woman who's a doctor now. I like that stuff. I think it's all right. <laughs> I like Capaldi era Moffat a lot. I actually think the writing in his era gets unfairly slagged off. I think I prefer Jodie Whittaker. That's right. I prefer the Capaldi era Moffat to, in general, Matt Smith Moffat. But I still didn't like it overall so you know <laughs> I did like it a little bit more though um I thought what's her name as well Clara I thought Clara was kind of all right whereas I didn't really enjoy Amy and the whole storyline with like her and Rory I was like eh, I don't really want this in my life actually do you like Missy? I don't know who Missy is. Who is Missy? Oh god, is she the um... The one who's like... The female master? No, I didn't... I didn't really like that whole thing. No... That wasn't... Nah... Didn't enjoy that. <laughs> Wasn't Moffat like, there's no way we'd make the Doctor female, that would be stupid. And then did the female master. And, um, what, <laughs> what was going on there? Genuine fave incarnation of the master? Oh, really? 
I don't know. I didn't actually watch a lot of that, but I, from the episodes I saw with her, I was like, uh, it just felt strange. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, really? I swear he was like, he thought it was stupid. Um, maybe this was at first when people are like, why, why couldn't it be a female doctor? Who knows? Who knows what's going on in uh, that man's brain? I do remember um, when I was really into Doctor Who in the kind of David Tennant era that part of the fun was making fun of it and criticising it. Um, despite the fact that I really liked it, but it was fun to pick apart, you know? Oh, you're going to sleep, Jan? Good night. Gute Nacht. Enjoy. Have a beautiful dream of a powerful sea king. <laughs> Have a good stream. Thank you. I will attempt to. <sighs> No one hates Doctor Who like Doctor Who fans. Mm -hmm. Luigi never tires of dancing, does he? No. He will never cease. He will never cease his beautiful move movements. His glorious ways. Why did I talk about Doctor Who on this stream? That's when you know I'm real tired. H1 has a cattle prod to keep Luigi dancing. You know that that is true. But don't expose me. Do I even have... Okay. Hell yeah. Let's go, let's go. Ugh, love to explore the cave. Nyam 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 nyam. that one stream where you had a face cam I know all your secrets <laughs> yeah that fateful stream how's my crib doing here okay barely barely grow all but that's fine do, 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 do. I'm doing goo <laughs> what <laughs> Oh my goodness. You shouldn't do that. Hey, a full store. Hell yeah. Oh, that was all. Okay. I like that Sherlock did an episode where Sherlock shot a Rupert Murdoch stand in the series 3 finale. Oh, Jesus. Remembering any details about what happens in Sherlock is, like, not possible for me. <laughs> Alright, well, we're back at red. I'm gonna save. And I guess we'll just come back here tomorrow, see what we can do. I don't know. <laughs> he has too many Pokemon. What am I gonna... What am I gonna do? <laughs> I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Um, thanks for joining me. I'm gonna go. And, um, Luigi mocks us every moment. Oh, Luigi. Luigi dancing on the other side of the stream, please. Oh, maybe so. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye.